Simon had knelt down. And as he went down the line, said, if you will deny your God, you can live. They said no. They cut their throat. When they could get 20 of them, they got to the 21st one. And they had this on tape. When they got to the 21st one, he was with these people, but he hadn't known any, any wouldn't have, you know, know about being a Christian. But when they got to the 21st one, they said, if you, is Jesus Christ your God, that man had seen so much bravery. He had seen so much dedication. He had seen that they were willing to die for Jesus Christ. That he received him in his life as they come down that line. And when they came to him, they said, if you will deny your God, who is your God? He said, my God is the same God as their God. And they cut his head off. But praise God, let me tell you this morning. It was because maybe some virtuous person told that person about Jesus Christ. I've got to hurry. Jesus became 12 years old. And they went to the temple to offer uh, on, the, on the Passover. And when they were coming home, and I've heard people say, wonder what was wrong with Mary and Joseph? They didn't know where Jesus was at. See, what you have to do is know the history of how things happened in that time. They traveled in very dangerous territory to go from where they lived, Galilee to Jerusalem. Galilee was a very a place of robbers and killers and murderers and all that. And as Jesus would go and Mary and Joseph would go to the temple on, and they would go together. Not only did they go, but family after family after family would go. And sometimes, like your little children, We'll go over and play with the neighbors. It wasn't uncommon at all for Jesus to be in a crowd with another family. That's what happened coming back. And so when night come, come, and Jesus wasn't there, they didn't get excited because they knew full well he could be easy with another family. It's happened year after year. But when daylight come and they couldn't find him, they got interested. They went talking and asking all the other people until it led them back to the temple in Jerusalem. And there they found him, teaching in the temple. Jesus was teaching in the temple about the glory of God and what was going to come for the future because of a virtuous mother that was willing to take him and take care of him and live virtuously before God. And then there they found Jesus standing in the temple. They didn't lose him. They knew where he was. They just had to find him. Folks, listen. I want to tell you in closing this morning. You haven't lost Jesus. The Bible says, and I've heard people say, you've lost your first love. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, you have left your first love. You have left it. You have left it. My wife left me and went to Virginia, but she's coming back. I haven't lost her. I know where she is. You haven't lost it. You have left it. Remember when you used to serve God so faithfully? You used to pray about everything you did in your life. Think back on it. Didn't it go better then than it's going now? Weren't you happier then than you are now if you've left God somewhere? And as they get a song, I ask you this morning, if you've left Him somewhere, or if you've got a problem that's so big that you can't see God, all you can see is that problem, bring that problem this morning. Let us anoint you and pray with you. And take that problem and say, Problem, I want to show you somebody that's bigger than you are. Point that problem to God and say, Problem, give up, walk away, because my God is going to defeat you. And God will take care of you. A virtuous woman who can find. If you've left him, if you've left your first love, you come to church, you don't think about church. You think about what you're going to do after it. You can't wait to get out because you're going to get a burger somewhere. Altar calls given and, and you've lost that desire to stay and see if somebody's going to go to the altar or you can go down and help pray with them or sit in your seat and pray for them. Doesn't mean you lost it, but you've left it. And so this morning on Mother's Day, as we sing, you've got physical problems. You're sick in body. Have you left your belief that God can heal you? You haven't lost it. You've just left it. You come back and God is right there waiting for you. As you stand today and sing, 
Would you come?